Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of Field Trips. I find myself right outside Panama City, Panama with Kevin Bendek, who should be a familiar Ooh. face if you've seen the Field Trips Panama series. My new friend Melvin, who is friends with Kevin. So Kevin no longer is with Los Buzos Resort, but that's where I'm headed. You guys know Los Buzos, of course. Kevin was a guy there for what, like a year and a half? Year and a half, yeah. Year and a half. Uh, just incredible, such a fishy dude. And he has become like a brother to me. So I was coming back, he lives in Panama City now. I had to come a couple extra days and do a little bit of fishing with him. So he invited us out here. I did not sleep last night. I flew in, got here at midnight. Uh, long story short, a couple beers and we started talking and getting gear ready. Next thing we knew it was four in the morning. We had to get up at 4.30, so just came straight to the ramp. So I'm, we were all kind of in zombie mode, but we're gonna try to get out here and troll around for some mahi, yellowfin tuna, Pacific sailfish, rooster fish, whatever may be biting, so. All right, first things first, gotta catch some bait. Wait up. All right, we got a pod of, uh, looks like maybe spinner dolphins coming up, but these big pods of dolphins, a lot of times the big yellowfin tuna will run with them and hunt alongside them. So we got a big pod coming our way directly to the boat. Hopefully there's some fish following them. All right, first fish of the day. We just went over a big school of something bust on the surface. Looked like bonita. This is just a little bonita. Hi, fish up! Looks like a mahi. Beautiful little cow mahi. Not a big one, but uh, where there's one, there's more. So we're gonna keep trolling around this area. Nice. Uh, beautiful fish, and these guys are delicious. I don't see him. I don't see him. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Wow. Pump bag right here next to the boat. What an experience. There's about three of them. And uh, I mean, you just see like the. the Incredible. These things can hold their breath so long, it's like you never know. Look at that, right there by the island. That's one of the younger ones, I think. Oh, yeah, that's a baby. Now, you know, you say baby, that thing probably weighs two or three tons at least. Take a little break to cool off. It is hot before we kind of run back in. Water feels amazing. Hey, mira, mira. Oh my god, como te llamas, amigo? This guy right here is over here fishing with bait for snapper and hooked up a sailfish. He does not have a fishing rod, so we're going to put it on one of our rods and try to reel this fish in. Oh my god, we saw it jumping, thought it was free jumping. And uh, he started waving us over. He's been out here hand lining for snapper. He just hooked up a sailfish on a hand line with just a little bit of bait on a hook with some weight at the bottom. What do you need? I'm gonna do a uh, cut that, cut that line. Go. Okay. This is done. I'm gonna do a. Oh my God! You're gonna do it. You need, you need. All right. So Kevin here is gonna try to hook this fish up. I don't think he she really knows what's going on. Pacific sailfish on the hand line right now, you guys. And Kevin Vendek here is tying this to a fishing rod because that guy just caught it hand lining. Good. Oh my gosh. There it is. Oh wow. Sailfish on. <laughs> Kevin's really a sailfish. <laughs> oh yeah! What's your name? Coquito. Coquito, lito, yeah. Coquito. Mucho gusto, amigo. Vas a ser famoso, amigo. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, whoa. I just took out the tie. Ah, okay, okay. I can cut it. I'll walk back. Yeah, because I got to reach around tip. I can't believe. Cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. What do you mean cut it? Dale, dale, dale. 20. Yeah, I will get it to you, but be ready. But... Yeah, I'm ready, but it's 20 yeah. feet away. Okay, okay. Tranquilo, tranquilo. Got it? No. Got it? Got it. There you go. Stop, making, stop making me nervous. Okay. Look, man, something big just swirled back there, dude. I think there's more in the area. Something big just swirled like 20 feet back there behind the boat. Pero que hay más, amigo. Poquito, Melvin. Oh, s. Quítale, quítale motor. Ya, 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 se lo quité. 
<laughs> He's not done. Oh god. Not done. Dale para adelante entonces un poquito para adelante. Wow, wow. Oh. Lines is peeling off. Oh, hit the knot. How in the f that guy who got selfish? And we're trolling blue runners. So honestly, Kevin invited me on the boat. It's been a slow day. It's been a grind. We've seen fish, but nothing's been chewing. But it's just been an incredible day out here on the water. Now, one moment, one instant, and it turned from kind of just a casual day on the water to like a day I will never forget for the rest of my life. Yeah, that's for sure. Been here a while, still steady ribbon drag. You want to run it down? Come Got the captain landing, fighting a selfish on the quick hook. Right here. Or no? No, something else. See, that's what I keep telling you, bro. I think like there's a, at least one sailfish following this sailfish. I keep seeing big swirls. Yeah, he's right here. He's close, huh? Yeah, now we're already on his line. On the headline. Oh, yeah. What pound test did he say it was? I don't know. I think he said... He's doing really light drag. Yeah, it's light. I'm yeah. sure it's light. Yeah, so basically, Kevin's now wound the knot where he tied that guy's hand line onto the actual line, the braid that's on this reel. So now we're fishing on that guy's hand line, and we don't know what pound test it is, but it's definitely not, uh, that guy was not and fishing for sailfish. And so. he's fried. And it's frayed? Good. Great. Perfect. Yeah, so uh, at this point, Kevin can't really horse him in too much. It's a big fish. Oh, no, no. No, no, no. What? What? The knot? No, no, I don't want to go through the gates again. Yeah. Yeah, cuidado con eso. But hey, if he takes it, he takes it. It's mejor that he takes it not than, than just break him off. Does the line feel thick? Did you feel it? Oh gosh. Man, she ain't done. Something tells me she's not even close to done. Something tells me we might be here a while. He was fighting snapper. Yeah, exactly. He was fishing for snapper. He did have a decent Jack Creval in there, so it can't be a. Too, too light. Then I push it again. Oh, this is thicker line. So Kevin just keeps finding knots in this guy's line. I think that's the third knot in a row. Oh, there's another one. I can't believe this happened. <laughs> that is wild. That's one of the wildest things I've, I've seen on the water. Turning around. We thought he was just free jumping. Oh, oh wow. Ooh. You know what's funny too is that we had just said like maybe we should move. You know, like we've done this enough. We've done this enough. I'm glad we stayed. He has thicker line in front. He's got thicker line there, nice. Yeah. So Kevin's onto some thicker line after the third knot and this dude's uh, hand line. I still can't believe it. I can't believe this either. This is crazy. Fish is straight down. I'm sensing some fatigue from Kevin Bendek here. <laughs> Rightfully so. What is that, like a jellyfish stinger on there? Yes. Is it really? Yeah. Careful with that. Ah. Wow, still digging hard. He's under the boat. So Melvin here is kind of running the boat, making sure the line's not going under the boat. It's my bro. <laughs> More than the captain. <laughs> oh yeah. Same here. And this is going to be a story he's going to be telling forever. I'm never going to hear the end of this. Oh, wow. Still? Digging. Oh, wow. Digging hard and watching. Not, 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 no, no, no. I have a, not a, a wing right there. This shit. Oh, yeah. A little bit of a backlash. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Yeah, just clean it up now. Yeah, there you go. Whoo, wee. Oh. God, I can't believe she's still pulling that hard. Ah, it's big, man. It's been a while. Not a tiny whiny. <laughs> tiny whiny. Yeah, oh. cerveza, huh? Para celebración, no? Oh, wow, wow. Oh, wow, wow. First mate on the boat. Yeah, oh, wow. Yeah, about his cap. <laughs> I'm gonna get to get some line back. I want to get to that thicker line. We need to take that picture. What? <laughs> I'll pitch you with that tail. Yeah, yeah. Can't see her in the camera, but she's right there. We can see her. She's right on the surface. Just kind of, just kind of chilling right now. 
say that. That's a really big sailfish, bro. <laughs> She's thought. thick. She's like tall, you know, like. I don't think she's much longer. Oh wow. Oh wow. That is a big fish. This is a Pacific sailfish. Oh my gosh, and she's not small. Beautiful fish. I cannot believe that guy hooked this thing on a hand line fishing for snapper. That's the most absurd thing I think I've ever heard. Now Kevin has got this thing up to the surface. Wow. Wow. Beauty. Welcome to Panama, baby. Woo! So Melvin is taking the rod so that Kevin here can lead her this fish. Wow. What an incredible, I, I can't believe I witnessed this. Oh my gosh, that is a big fish. Easy, easy, easy. God! Quick hook charters with Kevin Bendak. One of my best buddies in the world. Oh, wow. Insane. Wow, what an absolutely incredible experience. Mad props to Kevin Bendak, quick hook Woo! charters. Just uh, pulled off a feet and got this fish to the boat. Melvin was running the boat, making sure everything went smoothly. What an incredible just fish to like witness and be a part of. One of the cooler experiences I've had in a long time and I feel like a story Kevin's gonna be telling the rest of his life. That's a fish. That is a fish. Ready. Beauty. Hey. Uh, uh, GoPro. Uh, okay. And there she goes. Swam right off strong. Straight down, kicking well. Whew. Nice quick release, man. Good job. Woo. Insane. And there you go. Wow. Incredible. Que locura. Incredible. Wow. Woo! That was just one of the craziest experiences I've ever been yeah. a part of. Yeah. <laughs> well, we ran all that. Wow. Woo! We gotta go tell him that we landed it. Yeah. Yeah. Que grande, amigo. Wow. Fuerte eres. Con su mano. Que? Mero. Serio, yeah? Wow! Que buen dia, huh? Oh wow! Look at this guy! Mira! He's got a Goliath grouper. He went to sailfish with a hand line. Coquito here in Panama City. This guy is just a beast. Increíble, amigo. Un mero. Wow! Que esta usando para carnada? Ah! Oh, that's like a... That's something different. That's not a blue runner. It's like 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 a Wow, look at this Goliath grouper. That's why it's a lot. It's one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Yeah, he's got three fish behind him. Three Jack Revolves behind him. Absolutely crazy. What a beast. This makes me feel silly. All the fancy pedal drives and gear tracks and... All this stuff, and this guy's sitting here with electrical tape around his, his index finger so that he can wrap the line around it without a fish taking his finger off or cutting through his skin. He's got one paddle, and he was using that paddle while he was holding the sailfish. I'm, I'm really just at like a loss for words. I have not slept. I'm just like in awe of this whole situation. Eres mi amigo. I don't have any cash. If you give him 20, I'll pay you back. Hey, give him 40 bucks and I'll pay you back. Cara propina. Okay. Una propina, amigo. Gracias. Okay, gracias. Yo. grande. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Noventa, cien. Creo que. Yeah. Yeah. Grande. De dónde eres? Aquí. Sí, del pueblo este mismo que está aquí. Ah. Claro. Easily one of my favorite parts of traveling is getting to just meet other people from different walks of life and uh, usually realizing how lame and silly most of my life is, but uh, just eye-opening to see what this guy is able to do with so less, so little. He said he lives in the Pueblo, which is like a little town right over here on this point, and so obviously he's intimately familiar with these waters, and uh, I mean the results speak for themselves. We've been trolling around live bait all day, plugs, cedar plugs, diving, Rapala, I mean all kinds of stuff, and 
Uh, only caught a few bonita and a couple mahi, but uh, yeah, he's out here with line wrapped around his finger and got a got a sailfish. Just just crazy. You don't need fancy gear, is the moral here. You don't need the best of the best kayak or fishing rod or reel. You just need something that will hold up and get the job done, even if that's your index finger with a little bit of electrical tape. <laughs> crazy, crazy day. Just incredible. I mean, was... what a cool thing to share with you guys. I, I'm like still rambling about it. I'm speechless. But we just saw another, another sailfish. It's the reason I'm back on camera. I think I, I thought I just did the outro. We just saw another sailfish greyhounding out of the water 100 yards away. And while Kevin was fighting that one, twice I saw big swirls not where that sailfish was. And these things hunt in packs. The uh, first one I ever saw in real life, an Atlantic sail, Brian Nelly, a buddy of mine, he had caught one, and when I went underwater to film his, I didn't know it until I got home, but there was another sailfish in the background. They see the one getting frantic, and they kind of hang out with it. So I think there are more sailfish in the area, but unfortunately, the boat ramp closes at 6 p.m. Yeah. We got over an hour drive back, so we have to head back right now. Yeah, kind of while the getting, you know, it's getting good, but uh, just absolutely incredible. What an experience. Yeah, yeah. it was. I will never forget that. <laughs> Link in description if you guys want to come out here and fish with Kevin on the boat. Uh, you know, not going to guarantee you a handline sailfish, yeah. but he's getting on rooster fish, mahi, yellowfin tuna, um, and now maybe he's figured out some some sailfish grounds too. So yeah. I'm exhausted. We haven't slept. I haven't slept since I was in the United States two Ooh. days ago. We're gonna go home. And I'm gonna go to bed at yeah. like 6 p.m. Insane, bro. Nice work. Nicely yeah. executed. That was. That was awesome. Congrats, bro.